Okay, so this is uh, basically means that when you exert stress to your bladder, your bladder is unable to control, the sphincter is unable to control the urine and therefore you have leakages of urine uh, when you exert yourself. Typically, when you are coughing and sneezing or you know, when you're exercising, walking or you know, chasing the bus, So it is very more common uh, in uh, female because of our uh, lack of uh, complex sphincter support to the bladder. So for women, our urinary uh, continence is supported by the pelvic floor muscle. And these pelvic floor muscles can be weakened during pregnancy, uh, childbirth, or certain women who has undergone uh, hysterectomy or remover, room, removal of the womb. For men, because they have a better control of their uh, urinary sphincter, so it is not easy for men to suffer from urinary incontinence unless they have gone for some kind of uh, surgery to the prostate area. Uh, the most commonly would be prostatectomy for prostate cancer, uh, radiotherapy for prostate cancer, or some kind of uh, prostate uh, surgery for urine problem or prostate problem. Next. So So when the patient come to us, uh, the, the test that we do is, number one, we have to uh, determine how uh, your strength of your pelvic floor muscle. And then after that, we must make sure that it is not uh, infection or other uh, more serious causes to the urinary leakage. After we have uh, determined what kind of uh, urinary incontinence, then we want to know how severe it is. So we use a bladder diary, we use PET test, and we use urodynamic study. Okay, so once, once you have determined this is stress urinary incontinence, then we always uh, adopt a, we call it a stepwise approach. That means we do the most uh, basic, which includes strengthening your pelvic floor muscle by doing exercises. And then uh, we move up to uh, surgical intervention. Uh, there's no good medication for stress urinary incontinence. For surgery, uh, we also have a different kind of surgery for different women at their different stages of life and whether they have completed their family. Next. Jangan lupa like dan subscribe.